Okay, now what this audio file is dedicated to is I want you to listen to this Jack in the Box experience that occurred on 10-15-2013. I am showing you audio file number 21. Now this audio file is over 2 hours and 24 minutes. It's exactly 2 hours, 24 minutes, and 5 seconds long. Okay? And uh, it started at 10.41 uh, a.m. Uh, I made my purchase at exactly 12.05 a.m. I have already uploaded from this audio file the interreactions that happened between me and two separate San Diego police officers once they had to be called after an incident occurred within the Jack in the Box. Okay? I placed two, set, two sets of uh, tacos. You get one set for 99 cents. I, I placed two orders, which came to 198 a small french fry and a small coke. Now, you might think to yourself, why is she making this audio file? What I'm doing is I'm getting ready to plug this this speaker, the screen speaker, into this tape recorder. Okay, into the, um, into the, hang on, I gotta set this down for a second. So you can see me plugging this into the tape recorder. Okay, it is now plugged into the tape recorder, as you can see. Okay, okay, you see this tape recorder is still in audio file 21. It's plugged into the microphone, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this on, and I want you to listen to... What you're going to be listening for is, do you hear gang stalker and or gang stalking and or gang stalk being said in the background, either with and or the following words, oh my god, crazy, weird, and possibly even another word that's got the initial CH being said close together, back to back, including including even by separate individuals. Now, during this visit, I was also being subjected to what is known as physical gestures. Look in the description of this YouTube video for cooperative material in reference to at least two separate individuals on two separate dates. One, uh, one in individual on the 16th, which was the day after this event, admitting that he was put at a bus stop to engage in gestures, hand gestures, okay? touching hands to face to let the target around the person being targeted, okay? That is, that is attached to organized stalking, gang stalking. And what they're doing is having people get around me and repeat physical gestures and repeat words and phrases like gang stalker, gang stalking, gang stalk, oh my god, weird or crazy. Now, the reason why I'm making this audio video file is to transfer over once, it, it took me about an hour to get over to the Jack in the Box. That's why I fast forwarded the audio file up until the point to right, be, right, either right before I get off the bus or right after I got off the bus and then go into Jack in the Box. You'll clearly hear me making this order and what you're going to be listening for are these words being said around me as I'm, right, as I'm going into the Jack in the Box before, after I place the order and while I'm eating. You have to listen carefully slowly and if you want to rewind the video you can in order to be able to look for the spot that's being set at and this is their way the organized talking expeditions way to make a targeted individual feel stalked as a result of how many people they get around you along all your routes to repeat the physical gestures and the words and phrases you be the judge do you hear it being said and again this occurred on the 15th inside of this jack in the box of a roast crayons and nimitz and there's already video files online showing this happening to me on numerous previous dates inside this jack in the box it literally being caught on video and those videos those youtube titles will be posted in the description of this youtube video so you can see it happened on more than one occasion all right so i'm going to play the video audio right now okay now it's a two hour and 24 minute and zero five second long audio file that started at two minute at 10 at 10 41 a.m Okay, on October 15th, there's the day right there, the month there, the year there. And since it's 2 hours, 24 minutes, and 5 seconds long, you'll see that it encompasses this time the purchase was made at 12.06.05 p.m. on 10.15.2013. Okay, check in the box. Listen, do you hear these words being said around me? Alright, I'm already inside the Jack in the Box right now. I asked this guy, as soon as I walked in, I was going to go to the bathroom, and I decided now, nah, eat first, and then on my way to the bathroom, I asked this guy what the date was, so I'm already inside the Jack in the Box right now. I don't know, I'm asking. 
Do you know what it is? Great question. No, do you know what today's date? Thank you. They're called background cues where they say it in the background. Just listen.
me? You forget about me? saying gang stalk they're also saying stalk just listen uh, and then they try to then they'll probably try and deny and say that they were saying talk or stop or whatever because they're liars <laughs> can I get three sauces for taco oh, I like three please <laughs> Hey, can I get four more taco sauces? Thank you. Uh, what's the I need to get the combo food. Uh, uh, yeah. And some ketchup. Would you like uh, the bacon with this? Yeah, I'm alright. Hey, 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 I have a stop that is about the same one. And then later 
Now listen, I want you to look at this flyer for a second. It, it this explains what organized stalking and gang stalking is just real fast, okay? And um, it's over 13 pages long, okay? Now, <laughs> in the, the very beginning of it, it literally talks about how they will use corrupt or ignorant doctor diagnoses, okay, to stamp the victim as, bog uh, as bogus, bogus mentally ill, okay, with delusions, um... Let's see where to go. Delusions, paranoid, and schizophrenic. Now, after an event happened, within 15, 20 minutes after I, after this part of the audio file, I had to call the police. And the police were not interested in the evidence at all. And, it, and, and as a result of me continuing to press them that I had evidence, they started saying, well, we can call a psychologist out here for you if you want us to. Literally. That's right. Now, I have a manifesto in my backpack right now that was written by a manager of gang stalking and he states that when because it's an organized crime syndicate that's in the system that's perpetrating these crimes and the manager who wrote this manifesto states that when the syndicate excuse me is involved in the act of a crime against either a target or another type of crime that the syndicated police officers will monitor the radio dispatch in case the person who's perpetrating the crime in case the crime itself is noticed by somebody else and 911 is called. That way then the syndicated cop can come out to the scene and either arrest the guy so he can pipeline that guy who's arrested through the proper channels so nothing bad happens to him. Or they can use the same syndicated cop to act against the target of the crime that the crime is being perpetrated against like the harassment. Okay, so you, all you have to do is dissect this and, and scrutinize it for yourself. I'm going to continue to play a few more minutes of it. Again, you're listening for gang stalk, stalk, stalker, stalk, gang stalking, gang stalker, gang stalk, being said in the background along with, oh my God, we're the crazy. And they repeat it back to back.
gang stalking. Oh my God, was just said. I'm going to stop it right here now. Why don't you to notice another thing? Is it appears here that the way that they can get these businesses, okay? See, it's 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 perfect. It's individuals who are working in the system, like police officers, firefighters, social services workers, probation officers, parole officers. I shouldn't be on probation or parole, parole for anything, and I shouldn't be on any type of community notification. But what the perpetrators who are in the system who are connected to these organized crime syndicates are doing is using what is known as occupational health and safety laws in order to send out community notifications to community oriented programs. And as a result of the surveillance and tracking of a target, they then notify the places that a target goes to to engage in this organized community-based harassment. That's right. And it's basically called, up here it's called organized gang stalking, also known as gang stalking, cost stalking, organized visualized stalking, uh, stalking by proxy, community-based harassment, and covert war. Okay? That's right. And basically, it, be, and it literally just says, it says, it says it right here, uh, neighbors are recruited, uh, you would not believe, uh, employees of businesses, employees, it says it right there. Now. My name is Elsie Williams. Make sure you look in the description of this YouTube video. And, and the reason why I want you to is because you're going to be looking at other YouTube videos that, and including YouTube videos of videos of me being in the same exact Jack in the Box location on previous dates. And I was also in this Jack in the Box the day before this incident occurred because I went out into the area. This Jack in the Box is located close by where I do some business at. Okay, and I and this occurred on the 15th. The 14th was Columbus Day, and I didn't know it. So I went over in that same area, including at that Jack in the Box on the 14th as well. And I didn't know that it was Columbus Day until I was already on the bus route heading towards that direction. And 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 then when I discovered that it was Columbus Day on that bus route the day before, I decided, well, since I'm in the area, I'm going to go ahead and go to the Jack in the Box. So I was at this Jack in the Box the day before as well, and it was caught on audio file as well. But it was also caught on video file and audio file on previous dates that I was in this Jack in the Box. And those videos are already online, and those YouTube videos, their titles will be put in the description of this YouTube video. And in those videos, you clearly hear it being said inside the Jack in the Box. That's right. Now, cyber surveillance is a method of these crimes. They seen that I was not only uploading the videos, but also videos of audio files of it being, being caught set around me in the same exact way everywhere I go. So basically what they're doing now is staging events to make it appear that these businesses got legitimate appearing reasons to ban me from these businesses before I can file lawsuits. That way police reports can be made that will discredit me so when I file a lawsuit they can say look here what we got. We got these police reports about her acting crazy inside the very establishment she's claiming she's being gang stalked at. Because the whole goal is to make a targeted individual appear mentally ill just like it says in this 13 page long printout concerning what gang stalking is about. See how it says it right here? It says their whole goal is to use corrupt or ignorant doctors to diagnose the target victim with bogus mentally ill with delusions, paranoid, or schizophrenia. That's right. And when I called the police and they came out in reference to this event that occurred on the 15th, I predicted before they arrived that they would claim that I was mentally ill or needed to see a doctor, and that's exactly what they said once they got there, even though I told them I had undisputable evidence. All right, thank you.